The post-SummerSlam edition of WWE SmackDown will air live from the BOK Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The show will witness the return of the original tribal chief Roman Reigns to the blue brand. Furthermore, Nia Jax will celebrate her big title win from SummerSlam, while Cody Rhodes and LA Knight are scheduled to appear as well. Much like WWE Raw this week, the company could have some big things in store for fans on Friday night. How would things transpire on WWE SmackDown after SummerSlam? Here are three bold predictions for this week's Blue Show. 3. Nia Jax's title win celebrations are ruined by Bayley on WWE SmackDown. Nia Jax prevailed over Bayley to win the WWE Women's title at SummerSlam. The newly crowned champion is set to celebrate her big title win on WWE SmackDown. However, her celebrations could be cut short by the role model. Bailey could interfere during the segment to attack Nia. This potential angle could result in the Irresistible Force's newest ally, Tiffany Stratton get involved. Tiffany could join forces with Nia to launch a two-on-one attack on Bailey. If so, the creative team could have Mikan show up to make the save, leading to a potential tag match between the two sides. 2. Kevin Owens Betrays Cody Rhodes Cody Rhodes will appear on WWE SmackDown this week. The American Nightmare is expected to address his recent win over Solo Sikoa at SummerSlam. However, the company may reveal Rhodes' next opponent on the same night. One potential name who could be the American Nightmare's next challenger is Kevin Owens. There were rumors of the prizefighter turning heel a while back. However, nothing came of it. That said, the creative team may finally pull the trigger on the same this week on WWE SmackDown. KO could make his presence felt during Cody's segment, only to turn on him. Owens could launch a brutal attack on the American Nightmare, leading to a potential match at Bash in Berlin. 1. Roman Reigns could reveal some new allies. Roman Reigns made his blockbuster return at SummerSlam. The original tribal chief is expected to be involved in a feud against the bloodline following his comeback. However, Reigns can't take on the solo-led faction on his own. Hence, he could form a new faction to fight the bloodline. The said faction could start to take shape on WWE SmackDown. Roman Reigns could add Paul Heyman and Jimmy USO to his faction on Friday night. Both Heyman and Jimmy have been on the sidelines since they were kicked out of the bloodline. However, the duo could make their much-awaited return on Friday to side with Roman Reigns in his war against the bloodline. Reigns could introduce Paul Heyman and Jimmy USO as the wiseman and right-hand man of his new faction respectively. As the dust settles after another explosive SummerSlam, the WWE Universe is left buzzing with speculation about what's next for the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, and his ever-evolving faction, the Bloodline. With power struggles, betrayals, and shocking alliances shaking the foundation of SmackDown, Reigns finds himself at a critical juncture. With his loyal right-hand man, Jey Uso, seemingly out of the picture, and the Usos embroiled in personal turmoil, Roman must fortify his ranks. The fallout from SummerSlam has left the Bloodline vulnerable, but also ripe for reinvention. So, what's next for Roman Reigns and his dominant reign? Here are three bold predictions for SmackDown after SummerSlam, including two major additions to the Bloodline and the shocking return of a former right-hand man. 1. The Bloodline adds new members, enter the Apex Predator and the Scottish Warrior. With the Bloodline in disarray, Roman Reigns needs to reassert his dominance. Randy Orton asterisk asterisk, the Apex Predator, has been sidelined for months due to injury, but whispers in the locker room suggest that his return is imminent. Orton has always been a master of mind games and a predator who strikes when his enemies are most vulnerable. Reigns, understanding the value of psychological warfare, could see Orton as the perfect enforcer for the bloodline. Orton's cold, calculating demeanor would complement Reigns' authoritarian leadership, creating a new, more ruthless era for the faction. But how would Orton align with Reigns? The answer could lie in mutual respect. 
Both men have a deep understanding of the business and share a disdain for anyone who doesn't acknowledge their dominance. Orton's inclusion in the bloodline would send shockwaves through WWE, as he's been a lone wolf for most of his career. However, aligning with Reigns could be his way of making one last run at the top, ensuring his legacy is unchallenged. Drew McIntyre, on the other hand, represents a different kind of power. The Scottish warrior has been in a precarious position since losing his WWE Championship and failing to regain it. He's been teetering on the edge of a heel turn, and a brutal loss at SummerSlam could push him over the line. McIntyre has history with Reigns, and while they've been fierce rivals, they share a mutual respect for each other's abilities. Roman could exploit McIntyre's frustration, convincing him to join the bloodline as a way to channel his aggression and reclaim his dominance. McIntyre's raw power, coupled with his relentless drive, would make him an invaluable asset to the bloodline. Moreover, his inclusion could set up a future storyline where McIntyre eventually challenges Reigns for control, adding layers of intrigue and potential conflict within the group. 2. The shocking return of a former right-hand man, Seth Rollins rejoins Roman. In one of the most unexpected twists, Roman Reigns could turn to his former S.H.I.E.L.D. brother, Seth Rollins, to fill the void left by Jey Uso's departure. Rollins and Reigns have a complicated history, marked by both camaraderie and betrayal. But as they say, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Rollins has been riding high as a fan favorite on Raw, but with his character's unpredictability, he could easily be swayed back into the dark side, especially if it benefits him in the long run. Roman might offer Seth a deal he can't refuse, a position of power within the bloodline, where they can once again dominate WWE together. The dynamic between Rollins and Reigns would be electric, with tension simmering just beneath the surface. Rollins, ever the opportunist, might see this as a chance to keep his enemies close, while Reigns could view Rollins as both an asset and a potential threat. Their alliance could be a temporary one, with both men knowing that betrayal is inevitable, but until that day comes, they would be an unstoppable force. This partnership would be a nod to their shield days, but with a darker, more sinister edge. The WWE Universe would be captivated by the constant question of when, not if, Rollins will turn on Reigns, or vice versa. This storyline would blur the lines between ally and adversary, making every interaction between the two must-see TV.